morning we're actually down um, by Ross River, so it's a beautiful Tuesday morning. <clears throat> the sun is out. It's um, before breakfast for us, so we thought we'd come out for a bit of a walk. Okay, so a tip I want to give you guys today is about what do you do when your birds are screeching all the time, like they won't shut up. First of all, the number one thing is you need to remember when you committed to buying a bird of any kind, you need to be aware that they all make noise. Okay, so they you have varying degrees of loudness. When this guy wants to be loud, he will be very loud. Um, sun conyers are known as being quite loud. So you need to do your research first if you're not wanting something that's really, really noisy. Okay, secondly, this little guy here, Ivy, has started being a full-on screecher in the mornings. So the second thing you need to ask yourself, you right there, George? Second thing you need to ask yourself is why are they actually screeching? Are they screeching because they're being defiant because you said they couldn't have something? Remember, they are like little kids. They're like toddlers. Um, <coughs> There it is. Or are they making noise because they're happy? Okay, boy, uh, birds will make noise because they're happy and we've got to remember that. Okay, at the moment there are lorikeets flying around and she's happy. In the mornings, birds are flying around outside and she likes to call out to them and say hi to them. So it's a natural, natural thing. Okay, but there are a few things you can do to minimize it. Okay. Number one, and probably one of the most important ones, is do not react by screaming back at them to shut up. Um, don't react, okay? Don't, don't scream at them and try and compete with them because they actually think that's a game and they get really excited and they will compete with you and they will win. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing you want to see is your birds rehomed because because you can't handle them anymore. Okay, so number one is you stay really calm. You don't verbally react. Okay, number two, something you could do is you can actually put them out of your way. So if you're out, if you've got them out and you're playing with them on the play stand and you're interacting with them and they start screeching, um, just silently get them up, get them to step up on your hand. Put them back in their cage okay then they know the cage is for food and for quiet time okay so then they'll know that it's time for quiet time and when they're nice and quiet you can bring them out again and it rewards them okay then they can interact with you again number three um, sometimes there's things that you can do um, she likes to start carrying on extremely early in the morning uh, and wakes up the whole household. So there are little things you can do, like we have an outside cage with our other birds and it doesn't have lots of toys in it, it just has food and water in it. But she can look around outside and she can start singing to the birds outside if she wants to. So sometimes if she's getting really bad and people are still asleep, I actually put her in an outside cage and then I shut some of the windows so that she can sing her little heart out and it's not gonna to disturb too many people. Somebody wants attention. Above all though guys, just remember again, birds are noisy. If you're going to get a pet parrot, you need to remember that they will make noise. You can't just shut them up. Okay, and number two, remember if you start competing with them by yelling at them or feeding that attention, um, they're gonna take that as a challenge and they will not shut up, okay? They will just get louder and louder and then you're gonna have a really, it'll just become a bigger problem.